as a test. This station is conducting a required weekly or required monthly test of the emergency alert system. This is only a test. Esta es una prueba. Esta estación está transmitiendo la prueba semanal o mensual requerida por el sistema de alarma y de emergencia. Esta es solamente una prueba. Es un test de la emergencia de alarma y de The civil authorities have issued a required weekly test for Bexar TX, Booster TX, El Paso TX, Harris TX, Hidalgo TX, Torre TX, Travis TX, Valverde TX, and Webb TX, beginning at 1.57 a.m. and ending at 2.12 a.m. This is a test of the emergency alert system. If this had been an actual emergency, you would have been given additional information. This is a test. No action necessary. This is a weekly test of the emergency alert system.
coordinated monthly test of all broadcast stations in Kansas and the Kansas City metropolitan area. Equipment that can quickly warn you during emergencies is now being tested. If this had been an actual emergency, such as severe weather watches or warnings, or other local area emergencies, official messages and information would have followed the alert tones. This station serves the state of Kansas and or the Kansas City area. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. This is a test of the North Carolina Emergency Alert System. This is only a test. Broadcasters in cooperation with local, state, and national authorities have developed a system to provide the public with important emergency information should the need arise. This concludes the monthly test of the North Carolina Emergency Alert System. This is a test of the emergency alert system. is a test from the State of Idaho Emergency Alert System. In the event of an emergency, this system would bring you important information. This test was conducted from the Idaho State Communications Center in Meridian, Idaho, and is now concluded.
This is a weekly test of the emergency alert system. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. This is a test of the emergency alert system. This is a weekly test of the emergency alert system. El Servicio Nacional de Meteoróloga en Miami ha emitido un aviso de tormenta marítima para aguas costeras de Júpiter Inleta de Erfiel Beach hasta 20 millas nuticas mar afuera aguas costeras de Erfiel Beach a Ocean Reef hasta 20 millas nuticas mar afuera aguas de Júpiter Inleta de Erfiel Beach desde 20 hasta 60 millas nuticas mar afuera aguas de Erfiel Beach a Ocean Reef desde 20 hasta 60 millas nuticas mar afuera hasta las 5.45 a.m. A las 4.50 am, el radar Doppler del Servicio Nacional de Meteoróloga en Miami muestra una tormenta fuerte afectando porciones de las reas indicadas y capaz de producir fuertes vientos en exceso de 34 nudos. Otros posibles peligros son granizo, fuertes lluvias, rayos y trombas marinas. Movimiento es noreste a 35 nudos. Acciones de precaución y preparación. Su mejor curso de acción si usted se encuentra amenazado por esta actividad es moverse a 90 grados del movimiento aparente de la tormenta o hasta el grado que sea posible, buscar refugio inmediatamente incluyendo regresar a puerto seguro. También, asegúrese que todos los miembros de su tripulación estén utilizando salvavidas. Para reportar eventos de tiempo severo o tornados llame al Servicio Nacional de Meteoróloga en Miami directamente marcando el mero 305-229-4528. Para actualización de este comunicado, sintonice la estación de radio de la NOA en inglés KHB 34 en la frecuencia de 162.55 MHz. Los mensajes de actualización de este comunicado no es disponible en SPAUL en este momento, pero lo están en un futuro cercano. Nacional de Meteoróloga en Miami ha emitido un aviso de tormenta marítima para aguas costeras de Deerfield Beach a Ocean Reef hasta 20 millas nuticas mar afuera aguas de Deerfield Beach a Ocean Reef desde 20 hasta 60 millas nuticas mar afuera hasta las 5.30 am. A las 4.54 am, el radar Doppler del Servicio Nacional de Meteoróloga en Miami muestra una tormenta fuerte afectando porciones de las reas indicadas y capaz de producir fuertes vientos en exceso de 34 nudos. 
Otros posibles peligros son granizo, fuertes lluvias, rayos y trombas marinas. Movimiento es noreste a 25 nudos. Acciones de precaución y preparación. Su mejor curso de acción si usted se encuentra amenazado por esta actividad es moverse a 90 grados del movimiento aparente de la tormenta o hasta el grado que sea posible, buscar refugio inmediatamente incluyendo regresar a puerto seguro. También, asegúrese que todos los miembros de su tripulación estén utilizando salvavidas. Para reportar eventos de tiempo severo o tornados llame al Servicio Nacional de Meteoróloga en Miami directamente marcando el mero 305-229-4528. Para actualización de este comunicado, sintonice la estación de radio de la NOA en inglés KHB 34 en la frecuencia de 162.55 MHz. Los mensajes de actualización de este comunicado no es disponible en SPAUL en este momento, pero lo es tarde en un futuro cercano. El Servicio Nacional de Meteoróloga en Miami ha emitido un aviso de tormenta martima para aguas costeras de Júpiter Inleta de Airfield Beach hasta 20 millas nuticas mar afuera aguas costeras de Airfield Beach a Ocean Reef hasta 20 millas nuticas mar afuera aguas de Júpiter Inleta de Deepfield Beach desde 20 hasta 60 millas nuticas mar afuera aguas de Deepfield Beach a Ocean Reef desde 20 hasta 60 millas nuticas mar afuera hasta las 6.30 am. A las 5.33 am, el radar Doppler del Servicio Nacional de Meteoróloga en Miami muestra una tormenta fuerte afectando porciones de las reas indicadas y capaz de producir fuertes vientos en exceso de 34 nudos. Otros posibles peligros son granizo, fuertes lluvias, rayos y trombas marinas. Movimiento es norte a 35 nudos. Acciones de precaución y preparación. Su mejor curso de acción si usted se encuentra amenazado por esta actividad es moverse a 90 grados del movimiento aparente de la tormenta o hasta el grado que sea posible, buscar refugio inmediatamente incluyendo regresar a puerto seguro. También, asegúrese que todos los miembros de su tripulación estén utilizando salvavidas. Para reportar eventos de tiempo severo o tornados llame al Servicio Nacional de Meteoróloga en Miami directamente marcando el mero 305-229-4528. Para actualización de este comunicado, sintonice la estación de radio de la NOA en inglés KHB 34 en la frecuencia de 162.55 MHz. Los mensajes de actualización de este comunicado no es disponible en SPAUL en este momento, pero lo es tarde en un futuro cercano. And bright stars through the perilous fight for the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. And the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still. That star spangled banner yet wave or the land of the free and the home of the brave. 
K236CK Warrington. KWRE Warrington Troy Service in Miami has issued a special marine warning for waters from Deerfield Beach to Ocean Reef, Florida from 20 to 60 nautical miles excluding the territorial waters of Bahamas, waters from Jupiter Inlet to Deerfield Beach, Florida from 20 to 60 nautical miles until 7 a.m. At 6.32 a.m., severe thunderstorms capable of producing water spouts were located along a line extending from 39 nautical miles east of Jupiter Inlet to 54 nautical miles east of Sunny Isles, moving northeast at 20 knots. Hazard, water spouts and wind gusts 34 knots or greater. Source, radar. Impact, water spouts can easily overturn boats and create locally hazardous seas. Small craft could be damaged in briefly higher winds and suddenly higher waves. Severe thunderstorms will remain over mainly open waters. Move to safe harbor until hazardous weather passes. Report severe weather to the Coast Guard or the National Weather Service. You can also share your report with National Weather Service Miami on Facebook and Twitter. the Pennsylvania Emergency Management Agency, Harrisburg. This is only a test. The civil authorities have issued a required weekly test for Clark NV, Esmeralda NV, Lincoln NV, Nye NV, and White Pine NV, beginning at 7.16 a.m. and ending at 8.16 a.m. Required weekly test.
Service in Miami has issued a special marine warning for coastal waters from Chakawaski to Bonita Beach, Florida, out 20 nautical miles. Waters from Chakawaski to Bonita Beach, Florida, from 20 to 60 nautical miles, until 8 a.m. At 7.22 a.m., a strong thunderstorm was located 12 nautical miles northeast of our tower, moving northeast at 25 knots. Hazard, wind gusts 34 knots or greater. Source, radar. Impact, small craft could be damaged and briefly higher winds and suddenly higher waves. Locations impacted include Chakalaski, Cape Romano Aquatic Preserve, Our Tower, Cape Romano, Naples, Vanderbilt Beach, Bonita Shores, and Marco Island. Move to safe harbor until the hazardous weather passes. Report severe weather to the Coast Guard or the National Weather Service. You can also share your report with National Weather Service Miami on Facebook and Twitter. System, this is only a test. is the coordinated monthly test of the broadcast stations and cable television companies serving Mariposa, Merced, Madera, Fresno, Kings, and Tulare counties. Equipment that can warn you of a life-threatening emergency is being tested. If this had been an actual emergency, such as severe weather, a 911 system failure, or other life-threatening condition, an official message would have followed the alert tone. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. This is a weekly test of the emergency alert system. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system.
The civil authorities have issued a required weekly test for Coffee KS, beginning at 9.21 a.m. and ending at 10.21 a.m. Coffee County Emergency Management required weekly test. coordinated monthly test of the broadcast stations and cable television serving Mendocino and Lake County. This equipment can warn you of a life-threatening emergency and is being tested. If this had been an actual emergency, such as severe weather or failure of the 911 system or other life-threatening condition, an official message would have followed the alert tone. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. This is a weekly test of the emergency alert system. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. At this time, this station will test the emergency alert system. This is only a test.
When you hear these tones, stand by for important information that may be of a life-saving nature. We conduct these tests to make sure the emergency alert system is fully operational. We now return you to regular programming. Flood warning in effect from late Wednesday night until further notice. What? Minor flooding is forecast. Where? Horse Creek near Arcadia at AR 72. When? From late Wednesday night until further notice. Impacts at 14 feet. Buildings in Eden Acres flood. Additional details at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time Tuesday. The stage was 1.6 feet. Bankwell stage is 12 feet. Forecast. The river is expected to rise above flood stage early Thursday morning and continue rising to 13.8 feet Friday morning. Additional rises are possible thereafter. Flood stage is 12 feet. Flood history. This crest compares to a previous crest of 13.8 feet on October 1st, 1979. HTTPS slash Safety slash Flood turnaround. Home drown when encountering flooded roads. Most flood deaths occur in vehicles. Additional information is available at www.weather.com. The next statement will be issued late tonight by 2 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Weather Service in Miami has issued a special marine warning for Biscayne Bay, coastal waters from Deerfield Beach to Ocean Reef, Florida, out 20 nautical miles, coastal waters from Jupiter Inlet to Deerfield Beach, Florida, out 20 nautical miles, waters from Deerfield Beach to Ocean Reef, Florida, including the territorial waters of Bahamas, waters from Jupiter Inlet to Deerfield Beach, Florida, from 20 to 60 nautical miles, until 12.45 p.m. At 11.43 a.m., Severe thunderstorms capable of producing water spouts were located along a line extending from 14 nautical miles east of Juno Beach to 18 nautical miles east of Sunny Isles, moving northeast at 40 knots. Hazard, water spouts and wind gusts 34 knots or greater. Source, radar. Impact, water spouts can easily overturn boats and create locally hazardous seas. Small craft could be damaged in briefly higher winds and suddenly higher waves. Locations impacted include Ocean Ridge, Lauderdale by the Sea, Hallandale, Lighthouse Point, Jupiter Inlet Colony, Juno Beach, Palm Beach Shores, Bay Harbor Islands, Port Everglades, Highland Beach, Golden Beach, Surfside, Briny Breezes, North Palm Beach, Indian Creek, Sunny Isles, Riviera Beach, Palm Beach, Jupiter Inlet, and Hypoluxo. Move to safe harbor until hazardous weather passes. Report severe weather to the Coast Guard or the National Weather Service. You can also share your report with National Weather Service Miami on Facebook and Twitter. The civil authorities have issued a required weekly test for Clark W.A., Clark Miss O.R., Columbia O.R., Monoma O.R., and Washington O.R., beginning at 11.54 a.m. and ending at 1.54 p.m. This is a required weekly test of the emergency alert system issued by Clark Regional Emergency Services Agency. The civil authorities have issued a required weekly test for 1 in AMN, beginning at 11.55 a.m. and ending at 12.10 p.m. This is a test. This is only a test from the Winona County Sheriff's Office. No action is required.
The civil authorities have issued a required weekly test for Santa Barbara CA, beginning at 12.02 p.m. and ending at 12.17 p.m. This is a test of the emergency alert system. This is only a test. No action is needed. This is only a test. The following is a test of the emergency alert system. This is a weekly test of the emergency alert system. is a required weekly test of the emergency alert system, originating from the Missouri State Highway Patrol in Jefferson City and coordinated with the local broadcasters in your community. This is only a test. In the event of an emergency, this system would bring you important information. This test is now concluded. Weather Service in Newport has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for West Central Dare County in eastern North Carolina until 1.45 p.m. At 1.09 p.m., a severe thunderstorm was located near Buffalo City, or 10 miles northwest of Stumpy Point, moving northwest at 10 miles per hour. Hazard, 60 miles per hour wind gusts and quarter-size hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Mans Harbor, Mashu's, Mantio, East Lake, and Buffalo City. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. 
Please send your reports of hail and or wind damage, including trees or large limbs downed, by calling the National Weather Service Office in Newport at 1-800-889-6889. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 1.45 p.m. for the following county, Dare, North Carolina. This is a weekly test of the emergency alert system. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. Emergency alert system. This is only a test. Servicio Nacional de Meteoróloga en Miami ha emitido un aviso de tormenta martima para Va de Biscay en aguas costeras de Júpiter en Leta de Irfield Beach hasta 20 millas nuticas mar afuera aguas costeras de Irfield Beach a Ocean Reef hasta 20 millas nuticas mar afuera aguas de Júpiter en Leta de Irfield Beach desde 20 hasta 60 millas nuticas mar afuera aguas de Irfield Beach a Ocean Reef desde 20 hasta 60 millas nuticas mar afuera hasta la 1.45 pm. A las 12.47 pm, el radar Doppler del Servicio Nacional de Meteoróloga en Miami muestra una tormenta fuerte afectando porciones de las reas indicadas y capaz de producir fuertes vientos en exceso de 34 nudos. Otros posibles peligros son granizo, fuertes lluvias, rayos y trombas marinas. Movimiento es este a 10 nudos. Acciones de precaución y preparación. Su mejor curso de axing si usted se encuentra amenazado por esta actividad es moverse a 90 grados del movimiento aparente de la tormenta, o hasta el grado que sea posible, buscar refugio inmediatamente incluyendo regresar a puerto seguro. También, asegúrese que todos los miembros de su tripulación estén utilizando salvavidas. Para reportar eventos de tiempo severo o tornados llame al Servicio Nacional de Meteoróloga en Miami directamente marcando el mero 305-229-4528. Para actualización de este comunicado, sintonice la estación de radio de la NOA en inglés KHB 34 en la frecuencia de 162.55 MHz. Los mensajes de actualización de este comunicado no es disponible en SPAUL en este momento, pero lo están en un futuro cercano. The civil authorities have issued a required weekly test for Douglas MN, beginning at 2.01 p.m. and ending at 3.01 p.m. Douglas County required weekly test only. The civil authorities have issued a required weekly test for all of Washington beginning at 2 o'clock p.m. and ending at 3 o'clock p.m. This is a test. This is only a test of the emergency alert system in Washington State issued by the Washington State Emergency Operations Center. In the event of an emergency, this system would bring you important information.
The following tones will conclude this test from the Washington State Emergency Operations Center. The civil authorities have issued a required weekly test for Anoka MN, beginning at 2.39 p.m. and ending at 2.54 p.m. This is a test of the emergency alert system. This is only a test, no action is needed. This is only a test. The National Weather Service in Albuquerque has issued a flash flood warning for the Hermit's Peak Calf Canyon Burn Scar in southeastern Taos County in north-central New Mexico, western Mora County in northeastern New Mexico, until 3.30 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. At 12.41 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, Doppler radar indicated thunderstorms producing heavy rain over the Hermit's Peak Calf Canyon Burn Scar. Between 0.5 and 0.75 inches of rain have fallen. Additional rainfall amounts of 0.5 to 0.75 inches are possible in the warned area. Flash flooding is ongoing or expected to begin shortly. Excessive rainfall over the burn scar will impact Manuelitas Creek, Sapayo River, Coyote Creek and Mora River. The debris flow can consist of rock, mud, vegetation and other loose materials. Hazard, life-threatening flash flooding. Thunderstorms producing flash flooding in and around the Hermit's Peak Calf Canyon Burn Scar. Source, radar indicated. Impact, life-threatening flash flooding of areas in and around the Hermit's Peak Calf Canyon Burn Scar. Some locations that will experience flash flooding include Mora, Cleveland, Howman, Morphy Lake State Park, Ledoux, La Cueva, Gascon, Chacon, Monte Aplanado and South Carmen. This includes the following highways, State Road 94 between mile markers 10 and 18, State Road 518 between mile markers 17 and 46, State Road 121 between mile markers 0 and 8, State Road 283 near mile marker 13, State Road 434 between mile marker 0 and 15, State Road 105 between mile markers 7 The National Weather Service in Miami has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southeastern Collier County in southwestern Florida, northern mainland Monroe County in southwestern Florida, northern Miami-Dade County in southeastern Florida, southern Broward County in southeastern Florida until 3.45 p.m. At 3.04 p.m., a severe thunderstorm was located near 40 Mile Bend, or 21 miles northwest of Homestead General Airport, moving northeast at 20 miles an hour. Hazard, 60 miles an hour wind gusts. Source, radar indicated. Impact, expects damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Shark Valley Ob's Tower, Dade Collier Training Airport, and 40 Mile Bend. Remain alert for a possible tornado.
Tornadoes can develop quickly from severe thunderstorms. If you spot a tornado, go at once into a small central room in a sturdy structure. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Torrential rainfall is occurring with this storm and may lead to flash flooding. Do not drive your vehicle through flooded roadways. Weather Service in Miami has issued a flash flood warning for northern Miami-Dade County in southeastern Florida until 6.15 p.m. At 3.18 p.m., Doppler radar indicated thunderstorms producing heavy rain across the warned area. Between 1 and 3 inches of rain have fallen. Additional rainfall amounts of 1 to 4 inches are possible in the warned area. Flash flooding is ongoing or expected to begin shortly. Hazard, flash flooding caused by thunderstorms. Source, radar. Impact, flash flooding of small creeks and streams, urban areas, highways, streets and underpasses as well as other poor drainage and low-lying areas. Some locations that will experience flash flooding include Miami, Hialeah, Miramar, Miami Beach, Coral Gables, Surfside, Miami Gardens, Virginia Key, North Miami, Doral, North Miami Beach, Aventura, Miami Lakes, Hialeah Gardens, Sunny Isles Beach, Opalaka, Miami Springs. Sweetwater, Miami Shores and North Bay Village. Turn around, don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most flood deaths occur in vehicles. Be aware of your surroundings and do not drive on flooded roads. Please report observed flooding to local emergency services or law enforcement and request they pass this information to the National Weather Service when you can do so safely. National Weather Service in Miami has issued a special marine warning for Biscayne Bay, coastal waters from Deerfield Beach to Ocean Reef, Florida, out 20 nautical miles, coastal waters from Jupiter Inlet to Deerfield Beach, Florida, out 20 nautical miles, waters from Deerfield Beach to Ocean Reef, Florida, including the territorial waters of Bahamas, waters from Jupiter Inlet to Deerfield Beach, Florida, from 20 to 60 nautical miles, until 4.30 p.m. At 3.34 p.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing water spouts was located 33 nautical miles east of Sunny Isles, moving north at 50 knots. Hazard, water spouts and wind gusts to 40 knots. Source, radar. Impact, water spouts can easily overturn boats and create locally hazardous seas. Small craft could be damaged in briefly higher winds and suddenly higher waves. Locations impacted include Sunny Isles, Hillsborough Beach, Gulf Stream, Bay Harbor Islands, Miami Beach, Highland Beach, Bell Harbor, Golden Beach, Surfside, North Bay Village, Indian Creek, Lauderdale by the Sea, Sea Ranch Lakes, Lighthouse Point, Hallandale, Delray Beach, Boca Raton, Fort Lauderdale, Pompano Beach, and Deerfield Beach. Move to safe harbor until hazardous weather passes. Thunderstorms can produce sudden water spouts. Water spouts can easily overturn boats and create locally hazardous seas. Seek safe harbor immediately. Frequent lightning is occurring with this storm. If caught on the open water, stay below deck if possible. Keep away from ungrounded metal objects. Report severe weather to the Coast Guard or the National Weather Service. You can also share your report with National Weather Service Miami on Facebook and Twitter. National 
National Weather Service in Miami has issued a flash flood warning for southern Broward County in southeastern Florida until 6.45 p.m. At 3.32 p.m., Doppler radar indicated thunderstorms producing heavy rain across the warned area. Between 2 and 4 inches of rain have fallen. Additional rainfall amounts of 1 to 4 inches are possible in the warned area. Flash flooding is ongoing or expected to begin shortly. Hazard, flash flooding caused by thunderstorms. Source, radar. Impact, flash flooding of small creeks and streams, urban areas, highways, streets and underpasses as well as other poor drainage and low-lying areas. Some locations that will experience flash flooding include Fort Lauderdale, Pembroke Pines, Hollywood, Miramar, Davie, Plantation, Sunrise, Lauderhill, Aventura, Dania Beach, West Park, Ravenswood Estates, Estates of Fort Lauderdale, Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport, Oak Point, Chambers Estates, Chula Vista and Fort Everglades. Turn around, don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most flood deaths occur in vehicles. Be aware of your surroundings and do not drive on flooded roads. Please report observed flooding to local emergency services or law enforcement and request they pass this information to the National Weather Service when you can do so safely. National Weather Service in Tallahassee has issued a special marine warning for coastal waters from Ocklockney River to Apalachicola, Florida out to 20 nautical miles until 4.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 3.44 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, a strong thunderstorm was located 12 nautical miles northeast of St. George Island, moving south at 15 knots. Hazard, wind gusts 34 knots or greater. Source, radar indicated. Impact. Expect wind gusts in excess of 34 knots, suddenly higher waves, frequent lightning, and heavy downpours. Make sure all on board are wearing life jackets. The strong thunderstorm will remain over mainly open waters. Move to safe harbor immediately as gusty winds and high waves are expected. This is a test of the emergency alert system. The National Weather Service in San Angelo has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southwestern Schleicher County in west-central Texas, north-central Sutton County in west-central Texas, until 4.15 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 3.31 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located over the intersection of US-190 and Ranch Road 1828, or 12 miles west of El Dorado, moving southeast at 20 miles an hour. Hazard, 60 miles per hour wind gusts and quarter-size hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. This severe thunderstorm will be near El Dorado around 3.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Other locations impacted by the severe thunderstorm include the intersection of US-190 and Ranch Road 1828 and US-277 near the Sutton Schleicher County line. For your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building.
office in Pao Pao has issued a flash for the warning for Tutuila, Olu, and Manua until 12 p.m. At 9.36 a.m., satellite indicated heavy rainfall over Tutuila and Manua. Flash flooding is imminent or already occurring. National Weather Service in San Angelo has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for South Central Schleicher County in West Central Texas, Central Sutton County in West Central Texas, until 4.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 4 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located near U.S. 277 near the Sutton Schleicher County line, or 10 miles north of Sonora, moving southeast at 25 miles an hour. Hazard, 60 miles an hour wind gusts and quarter size hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. This severe thunderstorm will be near Sonora around 4.05 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Other locations impacted by the severe thunderstorm include US-277 near the Sutton Schleicher County line and the intersection of I-10 and Ranch Road 1989. This includes Interstate 10 between mile markers 390 and 420. For your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. nautical miles, waters from Deerfield Beach to Ocean Reef, Florida from 20 to 60 nautical miles excluding the territorial waters of Bahamas, waters from Jupiter Inlet to Deerfield Beach, Florida from 20 to 60 nautical miles, until 6.45 p.m. At 5.43 p.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing water spouts was located 25 nautical miles east of Miami Beach, moving northeast at 10 knots. Hazard, water spouts and wind gusts 34 knots or greater. Source, radar. Impact, water spouts can easily overturn boats and create locally hazardous seas. Small craft could be damaged in briefly higher winds and suddenly higher waves. The severe thunderstorm will remain over mainly open waters. Move to safe harbor until hazardous weather passes. Thunderstorms can produce sudden water spouts. Water spouts can easily overturn boats and create locally hazardous seas. Seek safe harbor immediately. Frequent lightning is occurring with this storm. If caught on the open water, stay below deck if possible, keep away from ungrounded metal objects. Report severe weather to the Coast Guard or the National Weather Service. This is a test of the NOAA weather radio warning alarm device and the emergency alert system. During potentially dangerous weather situations, specially built receivers are automatically activated to warn of the impending severe weather and or hazards in north central Kentucky. 
tests of these receivers are normally conducted every Tuesday between 6 p.m. and 7 p.m. local time, and every Wednesday between 11 a.m. and noon local time. When there is a threat of or existing severe weather in the area, the test is postponed until the next available non-severe or hazard day. This broadcast originates from the National Weather Service office in Louisville from a transmitter in Frankfurt on a frequency of 162.5 MHz. Reception of this broadcast and the warning alarm will vary at any given location. To provide the most consistent warning service possible, the warning alarm will be activated for watches and warnings affecting the following counties. In North Central Kentucky, Anderson, Franklin, Henry, Bowen, Scott, Shelby, and Woodford. This concludes the test of the NOAA Weather Radio Warning Alarm and the Emergency Alert System. We now return you to regular programming. Traba lluvias fuertes afectando las reas indicadas. Inundaciones repentinas son posibles o es no ocurriendo. Acciones de precaución y preparación. Un aviso de inundaciones repentinas significa que inundaciones son inminentes o que es no ocurriendo. Si usted se encuentra en un rea bajo aviso de inundaciones repentinas debe moverse a un lugar seguro inmediatamente. Para reportar inundaciones puede llamar al cuartel de policía MS cercano a la oficina para manejo de emergencias de su condado. Estas entidades pueden retransmitir su reporte a la Oficina del Servicio Nacional de Meteoróloga Miami. Para actualización de este comunicado, sintonice la estación de radio de la NOAA en inglés KHB 34 en la frecuencia de 162.55 MHz. Los mensajes de actualización de este comunicado no es disponible en SPAUL en este momento, pero lo están en un futuro cercano. The National Weather Service in Tampa Bay, Ruskin has issued a flash flood warning for South Central Manatee County in West Central Florida, Northwestern Sarasota County in West Central Florida, until 10 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 6.50 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, Doppler radar indicated thunderstorms producing heavy rain across the warned area. Between 3 and 6 inches of rain have fallen. Additional rainfall amounts of 2 to 3 inches are possible in the warned area. Flash flooding is ongoing or expected to begin shortly. Hazard, flash flooding caused by thunderstorms. Source, radar. Impact, flash flooding of small creeks and streams, urban areas, highways, streets and underpasses as well as other poor drainage and low-lying areas. Some locations that will experience flash flooding include Sarasota, St. Armand's Key, Southgate, South Sarasota, Ridgewood Heights, North Sarasota, Southgate Ridge, Kensington Park, Sarasota Springs, Sarasota Bradenton Airport, Gulf Gate Estates, The Meadows, Lake Sarasota, Bradenton Beach, DeSoto Lakes, Dee Ridge, Fruitville, Turtle Beach, Vamo and Bayshore Gardens. Turn around, don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most flood deaths occur in vehicles. Be aware of your surroundings and do not drive on flooded roads. Service in Austin, San Antonio has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Western Medina County, Eastern Uvalde County, until 6.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 6 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located 8 miles northeast of Sabinal, or 16 miles west of Hondo, moving south at 35 miles per hour. Hazard, 60 miles per hour wind gusts and quarter-size hail. Source, Radar indicated. Impact, hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Hondo, Sabinal, Yancey, and De Hannes. For your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. The 
Texas civil authorities have issued an immediate evacuation for Yakima WA, beginning at 7.02 p.m. and ending at 10.02 p.m. Lago Trico now evacuation notice a wildfire is threatening your safety, if you are within the evacuation zone of residents of terror sites up to Bud's Place Road. Yakima, WA get your family and pets in your vehicles and leave now. CHTTPS www.pacebook.com slash yakimacontium slash for evacuation boundary. Service in Pueblo has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for South Central El Paso County in East Central Colorado, North Central Pueblo County in Southeastern Colorado until 5.30 p.m. At 5.02 p.m., a severe thunderstorm was located 10 miles south of Fountain or 19 miles south of Colorado Springs and is nearly stationary. Hazard, 60 miles an hour wind gusts and half dollar size hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Fountain and Pueblo West. For your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. The civil authorities have issued a required weekly test for all of Indiana beginning at 7.11 p.m. and ending at 7.26 p.m. This is a test of the Indiana U.S. system. This test is conducted in coordination with the Indiana broadcasters as a public service to the citizens of Indiana. test to the broadcast stations of your area. If this had been an actual emergency, official messages would follow the alert tone. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system.
Service in Pueblo has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for South Central El Paso County in East Central Colorado, Northwestern Pueblo County in Southeastern Colorado, until 6 p.m. At 5.28 p.m., a severe thunderstorm was located 7 miles west of Pinion, or 16 miles northwest of Pueblo, moving south at 5 miles an hour. Hazard, golf ball size hail and 60 miles an hour wind gusts. Source, radar indicated. Impact, people and animals outdoors will be injured. Expect hail damage to roofs, siding, windows, and vehicles. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Pinion and Pueblo West. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. County in East Central Colorado, Northwestern Pueblo County in Southeastern Colorado, until 9 p.m. after daylight time. At 5.52 p.m., Doppler radar indicated thunderstorms producing heavy rain across the Moreland area. Between 1 and 2.5 inches of rain have fallen. The expected rainfall rate is 1 inch in 1 hour. Additional rainfall amounts up to 1 inch are possible in the Moreland area. Flash flooding is ongoing or expected to begin shortly. Hazard, flash flooding caused by thunderstorms. Source, radar. Impact, flash flooding of small creeks and streams, urban areas, highways, streets and underpasses as well as other poor drainage and lowering areas. Some locations that will experience flash flooding include Pinion and North Pueblo West. This includes the following streams and drainages, Fountain Creek, Wild Horse Creek, Dry Creek, Porter Creek, and Turkey Creek. Turn around, don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most flood deaths occur in vehicles. Be aware of your surroundings and do not drive on flooded roads. The civil authorities have issued a civil emergency message for Yakima WA, beginning at 7.57 p.m. and ending at 10.57 p.m. Update Marsh Road Fire Yakima, evacuation notice reduced to a level 2 get set for the terror sites areas to Bud's Place Road Yakima WA, have your family and pets ready to leave. CHTTPS www.pacebook.com slash Yakima Quintium slash for evacuation boundary Update Marsh Road Fire Yakima, evacuation notice reduced to a level 2 get set for the terror sites areas to Bud's Place Road Yakima WA, have your family and pets ready to leave. CHTTPS www.pacebook.com slash Yakima Quintium slash for evacuation boundary. for Phoenix, Arizona. This is the Arizona Department of Public Safety. Phoenix Police Department is looking for Kauchi and Chong. He is a 73-year-old Asian male being approximately 5 feet 2 inches tall and weighing approximately 130 pounds. He has black hair and brown eyes. On Tuesday, June 11, 2024, at approximately 12 p.m. Couchy N was last seen in the area of South 2nd Street and East Alta Vista Road on foot. He was last seen wearing a black shirt, plaid pants, and black sandals. Couchy N suffers from a medical condition which may cause him to become confused and easily lost. Any information on Couchy N, 
please contact the Phoenix Police Department. If you have contact with the Silver Alert, please call 911. Monitor TV and radio for updates. This is a severe thunderstorm warning. The National Weather Service in Jacksonville has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Central Alachua County until 8.30 p.m. At 8.02 p.m., a severe thunderstorm was located near Gainesville Airport or near Gainesville, moving south at 10 miles per hour. Hazard, 60 miles per hour in gusts and quarter size hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Gainesville, University of Florida, Gainesville Airport, and Newnans Lake. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Torrential rainfall is occurring with this storm and may lead to flash flooding. Do not drive your vehicle through flooded roadways. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 8.30 p.m. for the following county, Alachua, Florida. The civil authorities have issued a child abduction emergency for all of Violet beginning at 8.04 p.m. Tuesday, June 11th and ending at 4.04 a.m. Wednesday, June 12th. Amber Alert. Iowa City. The suspect vehicle is a blue 2014 Jeep Compass with iron license plate LIU-044. The missing is a 15-year-old white female, 5 feet and 80 pounds, with brown hair and hazel eyes. The suspect is a white adult female, 5 feet 3 inches and 165 pounds, with brown hair and gray eyes. If child slash suspect or vehicle is seen call 911. has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Northwestern Frontier County in southwestern Nebraska, South Central Lincoln County in southwestern Nebraska, until 8 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 7.10 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located over Wells Lake, or 13 miles northwest of Curtis, moving east at 15 miles per hour. Expected hazards include 60 miles per hour wind gusts and quarter-size hail. This is a radar indicated threat. Impact, hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Curtis, Wells Lake, Maywood, and Hanson Memorial Reserve State Wildlife Management Area. This includes Highway 83 between mile markers 50 and 60. For your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 8 p.m. Central Daylight Time for the following counties in Nebraska, Frontier and Lincoln. The civil authorities have issued an immediate evacuation for Washoe and V, beginning at 8.23 p.m. and ending at 9.23 p.m. Washoe County Emergency Management. Wildfire in area North Valleys. Evacuate now from the areas south of 395 between Copperfield Drive and Lemon Drive. Evacuate to North Valleys High School 1470 East Golden Valley Road, Reno, NV 89506.
Check social media and www.primitimate.com for more information. National Weather Service in Key West has issued a special marine warning for Bay and Gulf side from Craig Key to Half Moon Shoal out to Five Fathoms, Florida Bay including Barn Sound, Blackwater Sound, and Buttonwood Sound, until 9.15 p.m. At 8.35 p.m., a strong thunderstorm was located 9 nautical miles north of Horseshoe Key, moving northeast at 30 knots. Hazard, wind gusts 34 knots or greater. Source, National Weather Service Meteorologist. Impact, expect wind gusts in excess of 34 knots, suddenly higher waves, frequent lightning, and heavy downpours. Locations in the warning include Oxford Bank Light, Frank Key, Tenkin Channel, Bowie Key, Carl Roth Key, Murray Key, and Sandy Key. Prepare for wind gusts in excess of 34 knots, steep and fast building seas, frequent lightning, and blinding downpours. Stay low or go below, and make sure all on board are wearing life jackets. The National Weather Service in Lake Charles has issued a flash flood warning for East Central and Jefferson County in southeastern Texas, southeastern Orange County in southeastern Texas, until 9 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 7.36 p.m. Central Daylight Time, Doppler radar indicated thunderstorms producing heavy rain across the warned area. Between 1 and 2 inches of rain have fallen. The expected rainfall rate is 1 to 4 inches in one hour. Additional rainfall amounts of 1 to 3 inches are possible in the warned area. Flash flooding is ongoing or expected to begin shortly. Hazard, flash flooding caused by thunderstorms. Source, radar. Impact, flash flooding of small creeks and streams, urban areas, highways, streets and underpasses as well as other poor drainage and low-lying areas. Some locations that will experience flash flooding include Port Arthur, Orange, Nederland, Groves, Port Natchez, Bridge City, Central Gardens, Southeast Texas Regional Airport, Port Acres and Orangefield. Turn around, don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most flood deaths occur in vehicles. This is a test, only a test, of the emergency alert system from the Snohomish County Department of Emergency Management. Had this been an actual alert, this system would bring you important information. Ocean Reef to Craig Key out 60 nautical miles until 10 p.m. At 9 p.m., a strong thunderstorm with possible water spouts was located 17 nautical miles southeast of Spiegel Grove, moving northeast at 15 knots. Hazard, water spouts and wind gusts 34 knots or greater. Source, National Weather Service Meteorologist. Impact, water spouts can quickly form and capsize boats cause considerable damage to vessels and create suddenly higher waves. Expect wind gusts in excess of 34 knots, suddenly higher waves, frequent lightning, and heavy downpours. The strong thunderstorm will remain over mainly open waters. Prepare for wind gusts in excess of 34 knots, steep and fast building seas, frequent lightning, and blinding downpours. Stay low or go below, and make sure all on board are wearing life jackets.
The civil authorities have issued a civil emergency message for Yakima WA, beginning at 9.05 p.m. Tuesday, June 11th and ending at 12.05 a.m. Wednesday, June 12th. Update Marsh Road Fire Yakima, evacuation notice reduced to a level 1. Be ready for the terror sites areas to Bud's Place Road Yakima WA. Residents may return to their homes. This is a test of the Washington, D.C. Metropolitan Operational Area Emergency Alert System. Fairbanks metro area. The National Weather Service in Fairbanks has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for northeastern Fairbanks metro area in Alaska, southwestern Chattanooga River Valley in Alaska, western two rivers in Alaska, until 6.15 p.m. Alaska Daylight Time. At 5.46 p.m. Alaska Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located seven miles northeast of Fort Wainwright, moving east at five miles per hour. Hazard, quarter-size hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, damage to vehicles is expected. Locations impacted include, Fox. For your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Service in Lake Charles has extended the flash flood warning for East Central Jefferson County in southeastern Texas, southeastern Orange County in southeastern Texas, until 10 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 8.50 p.m. Central Daylight Time, Doppler radar indicated thunderstorms producing heavy rain across the warned area. Between 1 and 3 inches of rain have fallen. The expected rainfall rate is 0.5 to 1 inch in one hour. Additional rainfall amounts up to one inch are possible in the warned area. Flash flooding is ongoing or expected to begin shortly. Hazard, flash flooding caused by thunderstorms. Source, radar. Impact, flash flooding of small creeks and streams, urban areas, highways, streets and underpasses as well as other poor drainage and low-lying areas. Some locations that will experience flash flooding include Port Arthur, Orange, Nederland, Groves, Fort Natchez, Bridge City, Central Gardens, Southeast Texas Regional Airport, Port Acres and Orangafield. Turn around, don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most flood deaths occur in vehicles. until midnight Eastern Daylight Time tonight. What flooding caused by excessive rainfall is expected? Where a portion of West Central Florida, including the following counties, Manatee and Sarasota. When until midnight Eastern Daylight Time tonight. Impacts flooding of rivers, creeks, streams, and other low-lying and flood-grown locations is imminent or occurring. Additional details at 9.53 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Doppler radar indicated heavy rain due to thunderstorms. Flooding is ongoing or expected to begin shortly in the warned area. Between 5 and 10 inches of rain have fallen. Additional rainfall amounts of 1 to 2 inches are possible in the warned area. Some locations that will experience flooding include Sarasota, Sarasota Springs, Southgate, Kensington Park, The Meadows, Southgate Ridge, Ridgewood Heights, 
North Sarasota, Lake Sarasota, South Sarasota, Gulf Gate Estates, Lakewood Ranch, St. Armand's Key, Sarasota Bradenton Airport, Fruitville, B Ridge, DeSoto Lakes, Vamo, Turtle Beach and Osprey. HTTPS www.weather.gov slash safety slash flood turnaround don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most flood deaths occur in vehicles. Alaska Daylight Time At 6.18 p.m. Alaska Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located over College, moving southwest at 20 miles per hour. Hazard, quarter-size hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, damage to vehicles is expected. Locations impacted include Fairbanks, College, and Fox. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Metro area in Alaska, southwestern Chattanooga River Valley in Alaska, until 7.15 p.m. Alaska Daylight Time. At 6.42 p.m. Alaska Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located near Moose Mountain Ski Area, moving southwest at 15 miles per hour. Hazard, quarter-size hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, damage to vehicles is expected. Locations impacted include College, Esther, and Fox. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. The ocean reef Florida from 20 to 60 nautical miles, excluding the territorial waters of the Hamas, until 11.15 p.m. At 10.50 p.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing water spouts was located 43 nautical miles east of Floyd Wall Northeast, moving northeast at 15 knots. Hazard, water spouts and wind gusts to 40 knots. Source, radar. Impact, water spouts can easily overturn boats and create locally hazardous seas. Small craft could be damaged in briefly higher winds and suddenly higher waves. The severe thunderstorm will remain over mainly open waters. Move to safe harbor until hazardous weather passes. Report severe weather to the Coast Guard or the National Weather Service. You can also share your report with National Weather Service Miami on Facebook and Twitter. National Weather Service in Miami has issued a special marine warning for waters from Deerfield Beach to Ocean Reef, Florida from 20 to 60 nautical miles excluding the territorial waters of Bahamas until 11.45 p.m. At 11.15 p.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing water spouts was located 41 nautical miles east of Floyd's Wall Northeast, moving northeast at 25 knots. Hazard, water spouts and wind gusts to 40 knots. Source, radar. Impact, water spouts can easily overturn boats and create locally hazardous seas. Small craft could be damaged in briefly higher winds and suddenly higher waves. The severe thunderstorm will remain over mainly open waters. Move to safe harbor until hazardous weather passes. Report severe weather to the Coast Guard or the National Weather Service. You can also share your report with National Weather Service Miami on Facebook and Twitter. Worship now. This is a test of the emergency alert system. This has been a test of the emergency alert system designed to keep you informed of national, state, and local emergencies. Air One. Worship now.